President Vicki, members of the faculty, my fellow graduates, ladies and gentlemen. It's an honor to be asked to speak at this celebration. Um, I came to Bank Street with some hazy philosophy of political ideas about education that I have developed first as a student in New York City public schools, then as a tutor for kids in my neighborhood, and eventually while working at an international human rights organization. At Bank Street, these hazy ideas were affirmed, challenged, put into practice, and reflected upon, and reflected upon, and reflected upon, <laughs> until a few fundamental beliefs were distilled. That process allowed me to develop a personal philosophy of progressive education that affirms that the most meaningful learning happens when educators can lay the groundwork that allows students to construct their own understanding through experience. These experiences must be rooted in and value the students' diverse knowledge, interests, cultures, and histories, and must be comprised of authentic interactions that provoke an intrinsic desire to go on learning. I believe that the inquiry, research, practice, and reflection that we have pursued at Bank Street has prepared us to be educators that can teach this way. So thank you, faculty, for guiding us to this point. As some of you know, my husband Pete and I are expecting our first baby in September. Thank you. <laughs> I haven't done that much work yet, but... Um, a lot of hopes and dreams are bubbling up for this next phase of our family's life. One of those dreams is that when my child makes her way to school, she is met by educators like you. Educators who take a developmental interaction approach to their work with children, who are committed to social justice, and with whom she is able to generate and explore her own authentic questions, to struggle with big ideas, to listen, to consider multiple perspectives, and work to articulate her thinking. I want her classroom to be a democratic space so that she can learn to participate in community life and to care for herself, her fellow human beings, and her environment. I want her school community to be one in which the faculty and administration collaborate to flexibly meet all students where they are in order to foster the cognitive, creative, physical, and social-emotional development, not just of my child, but of every member of the community. I want her to benefit from all of the good stuff that we have learned and to be challenged with, that we have been challenged with and that we have practiced at Bank Street and are carrying out into the world. It isn't too hard to find some of these things in progressive, independent, private schools, but my baby is going to be a public school kid. A strong, vibrant public education system is a critical piece of a healthy democracy, but ours currently is under attack by those that would seek to privatize education through school closures, hasty implementations of the Common Core state standards, and wildly flawed, high-stakes, standardized testing policies. These Policies are backed by billionaires, sponsored by for-profit corporations, and disproportionately affecting people of color and working class communities reflect and perpetuate the systematic and historical racism and economic inequality. These policies have also contributed to making it a little bit harder to find educators like those trained at Bank Street, educators like us, working in and with the public schools in our neighborhoods today. Our public schools need educators and allies like you to help heal the system, create and advocate for developmentally oriented progressive learning environments for all students, all families, all schools, and all communities. So I would like to ask that wherever you go from here, for the sake of this baby and also for all of our children, that you hold on to the fact that education is an integral part of social justice and change, and that you pay attention to the political world in which you work, and that you actively participate.